Well, one of the things that Duke uh, Ellington represented for, for Mingus was that Duke was a guy who wasn't writing tunes. He was writing compositions. He was composing. And he was a man who, who paid other men. He was a man who had his own orchestra. And these are the things that Mingus aspired for. Uh, also, he idolized Jimmy Blanton, the bass player, who died at age 22, 23 from tuberculosis. Odd set of circumstances, Mingus gets the job as the bass player in the Duke Ellington Orchestra. Mingus becomes Duke's bass player, a, a dream. Well, the dream turns into a nightmare when one day the trombone player, Juan Tizol, is going through some charts with Mingus, and he turns to Mingus and he says, oh, you niggas can't read. So Mingus chases him out of the dressing room. Uh, the, 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 the band starts playing. Tizol tries to walk on stage, uh, pulls a knife out on Mingus. Mingus hits him, knocks him off the bandstand onto the floor. Uh, of course, he was fired from Duke's band, but it was the most classic example of royalty, a gentleman, Duke Ellington, uh, firing you. And he says, I don't, I've never fired anyone, so I'm going to have to ask for your resignation, Charles. And uh, that's how he ended his stint with his idol.